Here's my solution to the Israel-Palestine conflict. It's a six-state solution, and all six of them are Palestine. Hi, I'm Ro Ramden, I'm a YouTuber. Welcome to Emotional Labor. This is the show where we do the discourse so you don't have to. Rose Ramden, thank you very much for being on the show and gracing us from the video SAS halls. What are the dormitories like for you guys? It's pretty bad. Every single bathroom doesn't have normal urinals. It has the Marcel Duchamp art piece alone in a white room, and you're meant to sort of interact with it how you see fit in a sort of postmodern Dadaist interpretation of using the bath. That was really high concept. That's just how the video essay dormitories work. Of course, before we are all sent to the commune to do hard labor. Who's like the Snape in the situation? The Snape? Philip DeFranco. <laughs> I was thinking more kind of like h bomber guy. He's McGonagall. I assume they gender segregated the bathrooms as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, are they gender segregated? Yeah, we have 60 bathrooms, one for each gender. And not one more. I won't get into it. You have to like cram the feces down the faucet. Like, how does it work? Well, this is a little bit of insider baseball, but uh, it's a human centipede type thing. I thought as much. So, Rose, as someone who also experienced an abstinence-only Catholic primary education, can... How do you know that? <laughs> Wait, when did I say this? <laughs> You're Rose, we, we have, have to know. To... Oh my god, dude, dude. Does the Pope make kids gay? Because in my experience, you know, we're both here, right? Yeah, we are. The Pope doesn't make kids gay. He is gay. Ever since they made Harris's burning a part of the official Bible doctrine, things have gotten, you know, more and more woke. But, you know, I don't think he can really do anything to make kids gay. He just is gay. Yeah. I do think it's weird that he's replaced various words in the original Latin with cunty. And it's weird that we do have to say slay instead of pray. I've said this. I've said this for a while now. It's Mary Magdalene being replaced by Lady Gaga does make sense, though. That is a bad. Yeah. As well as the Holy Spirit being replaced with the mom synth that Sophie made hard on. Evidence for the Pope being gay. Bald, has a stupid hat, weird car. <laughs> is that a gay person or is that just like a Hollywood movie producer? That's true. But as a gay person, I have stupid hats. I've driven dumb cars and... Uh, well, I'm not wearing a wig right now, but you can bet on balding. I'm not going to let you get a bird's eye view. I'm not going to let you fly your drone camera up there, but, you know, we're good. Well, it's funny you say that. Can you apologize for being American? <laughs> Ironically and unironically, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I think uh, my, my parents were immigrants, so I was born here against my own accord, but, you know, it is a settler colonial land mash, ma land mass. you got to take responsibility. I wasn't Moody's with... Paul Revere. I'm like a first Moody once removed. My oomph, Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> I have no idea who that Revere guy is. He's like the guy that won the I, I, I don't give a fuck war. Why would you unironically apologize for being American? Well, it's a it's a settler colonial landmass. I'm occupying Duwamish and Coast Salish land. So why I, I think, why am I doing that? Well, because I'm born here and. Uh, I don't really have the means to return to where I am ethnically from. Although I, I, you know, it's it's politically complicated whether or not people should just stay where they are. Um, yeah, because regardless, land back isn't necessarily an inversion yeah. of colonial practices of displacement. Exactly. Yeah, land back is a is a much more complicated thing. Giving indigenous people control and possession as much as you can of despite all of that you still choose to occupy that territory explicitly okay wait so i wasn't aware this was a <laughs> the no. form of race-based segregation yeah i mean i would say the biggest thing is that i'm pretty racist and <laughs> i liked what mm -hmm. i have 600 acres in northeast seattle i'm technically uh i think a duke <laughs> That's a lot of real estate. It's a manor. I'll be real. I'm the first monarchist YouTuber. Undoubtedly not the last, because uh, my kids are going to inherit this. As a British person, and also as a Desi person, I feel innately servile when I hear monarchy. So I would like to pledge my life to you to go oh, fight any crusades. Wait. Like, you have Ooh. going on? Like, you want me to go invade the Middle East? I'll be done. I'm West Indian, so I'm kind of like I'm kind of like a moody once removed from Daisy culture. I guess you could worship me if you're so inclined. <laughs> Looking at some of your early work, specifically when you were in the sixth grade, you dubbed yourself Ropra in a YouTube video. I remember when I said that. Holy shit. I was about to fucking start tweaking. <laughs> Anyways, continue. Which billionaire persona can you see yourself taking on in the future? Out of Jeff, Rosos, Wororin, Buffett, and Bay Rose Say. I would be Wororin Buffett, because he's kind of a down-to-earth guy. I'm not sure if I can say this, but it just feels like 
he's just hyper fix like he's just neurodivergent and really loves trading stocks can i say that i've watched interviews with him he's like i don't like the money i just like drive an old car and live in a shitty house and i just have so much money because i love trading stocks and it's like oh i think you just actually enjoy this maybe some of us just short stocks to cope gonna make a joke about stimming but maybe that's too far you're gonna cancel me <laughs> it's impossible until this next question why did idubs get a transbian haircut Oh my God, uh, uh, the estrogen in uh, Impossible Whoppers. He ate too many. And then of course the woke mob came for him. All of this results in him needing to get a gay haircut. Many such cases, we need to free him from the cage that he's created for himself, the cock cage. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he can be free to have the gayest haircut. I have a gay haircut. I'm a trans girl with bangs, you know? Does it get more stereotypical than that? It's pretty gay. Oh. Yeah. I'm gay and all of a sudden I was really concerned I was like wait what if people think I'm being homophobic <laughs> I was like really in my head about that I've got pretty gay hair as well really flamboyant homosexual faggot hair so there are words that we don't use <laughs> sorry <laughs> please let's do some slur discourse that's what the show is made for well uh, there's no slur discourse I'm fine with anybody saying I mean uh, no. well not with that not, not gay people but like <laughs> yeah straight people yeah that's fine wait wait wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait, guys. Do you Sorry. want to hear my impersonation of a European Twitch streamer talking about slurs? Yeah, go on. Chat. No, okay. Dude, why can't I say it? Dude, hold on. Wait, okay. You are saying not my way to reclaim. Dude, what does that mean? Hold on. Okay, wait. Yeah. It is not my way to reclaim. Whose word is it then, man? Okay, hold on. Wait. Chat, I got this anymore. Guys, I got it in stream. Guys, I don't like this. Guys, come on. Okay. No, okay. We're done. Okay, okay. You're cut off. You're cut off. Bye. Bye. Bl okay. Ch mods, can you ban him for uh, 80,000 hours? It doesn't matter, dude. Banned. Okay, guys, I'm off stream. I got to do this anymore, man. Guys, no, you're tilting me. I'm sorry. Okay, bye. That was pitch perfect. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it was like Felix possess your body. Yeah, yeah. I was He's back so on that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's an amalgamation of like four different European like streamers. Which celebrity do you hope allegations come out about so you can cover them in a YouTube video? amazing question <laughs> that's the that's the most evil question ever that's hilarious um wait no i feel like oh this is so frustrating because i'm trying to be self-aware but i don't want to i don't want to selfless aware myself out of the question being satisfying for people to see it being watched in the recap but let me do another reaction to that where it seems like i'm more uncomfortable so that you can get that one in uh okay Oh, no, you don't need to do that. Maybe if like a US politician was engaged in like a Discord scam, I would like that. It would be Discord scammer allegations. We're talking like Diane Feinstein. That would be amazing. Like, I would make a video on that. Do you have the concept of like, like, do you know what like an Avon lady is? Uh, I don't think so. Is it's it like, like a PLM scheme for like middle aged yeah. women, but it's been going since like the 60s. It's got tenure, so you can't get rid of it. That's what I'd like to see Diane Feinstein get involved in or Nancy Pelosi. Actually, I would like to see Nancy Pelosi get canceled for Neo Pronoun Discord. Course. I'll make a video on it. Her hard light is that she just doesn't want to call people it. She would be like doing a speech and she would be like, I believe that every American has their right to label themselves with whatever they want to, but people are going too far with cat self. Like, you guys heard about that? Chat, Neil Pornos are valid, man. Can I say that? <laughs> Chat, it doesn't matter. It's like a nickname, man. You can call anybody whatever. Anybody can be called whatever they want, man. Neil Pornos are awesome, man. What are we kind of complaining about here? I feel like we're slept into an alternate universe. So it does. Hannah Hart make kids trans. Oh, I hope so. I mean, I watched My Drunk Kitchen and now I'm... Yeah. I'm so trans. Hannah Hart made me hurt. Grace Helbig, Tyler Oakley, they all made me trans. Oh, no, Tyler Oakley did not do anything to me. Uh, well... Not that little gnome. Not that little He's, not, he's not being a landlord because somebody sent him out. Oh, he's a landlord. He was a landlord. He rented out. He moved out of his apartment, started mm -hmm. renting it out to somebody. Somebody sent him out, so he stopped doing it. <laughs> Stop I'm not gonna lie, I actually don't care. I just don't like white men. But wait, chat. You realize he's a little bit cute, right? <laughs> gotta get a cute haircut. Man, why are we laughing? I'm not feeling the Alan Trim. I don't know, it's mean. It's mean. Yeah, I'll feel a different way. Well, well, Robert Frost. You're so smart. You're making all of these references to people that I don't. <laughs> man, I cannot tell you, man, I'm very intelligent. <laughs> I had lead poisoning as a child, as someone of Indo-Trinidadian heritage, and also as a hyperpop musician. When are we going to see you collaborating with Rupee on a soccer track? I'm feeling Nicki Minaj first. We'll start with Nicki Minaj's cousin who had the enlarged balls from the vaccine. I presume he was Trinidadian. I mean, just because of the size of the... So, 
the testicles do Wajans deserve rights do Wajans deserve rights i mean i'm a Wajan, so i'll go ahead and let me here and say yeah but i know when you say Wajan, you're not talking about me you're talking about uh east I'm Asian. Talking- Oh, well, you see, I didn't say that. You said that. I'm oh, man, I am interpolating from the day. I love those videos on TikTok where it's like, which is your least favorite race to date? Would you date like, an Indian man? And people are like, yeah. wait, what? I literally don't get it. I don't get it. Indian men are so attractive. It's because we're never... Tupang. It's, we're just Tupang. That's it. We have True. to be Tupang. We're Pang, yeah. We're Pang? Yeah, we're <laughs> Lang. We're Lang as well. Yes, uh, sure. As somebody who grew up in... Nottingham. If you're from Nottingham, you might sound more like I'm from Nottingham. I don't really know what any of what anywhere in the UK is. I'm a liar. Yeah, I don't know anything about like Washington, Seattle dialects or whatever. So, wow. Um, so let's just sort of unpack that ignorance. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even remember because I'm a terrible person. What was like the indigenous peoples, like First Nations peoples that you said you are? Uh, I think I'm on Coast Salish land, Duwamish land, but I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong. Let, let me look up. Look up Seattle. <laughs> Um, indigenous. Again, how could you? And how could you not even know that name? Wow. Well, the, the Coast Salish is the the larger, but it's the ancestral land of the Duwamish. Oh, and Suquamish, and some of the. You know, maybe <laughs> I'm not the best person to talk about this, man. You want to want to talk the land? I don't know. I don't know anything, man. Stop. Are you more brown or more gay? I'm more brown. But uh, every single time I put a harsh camera light on me, it makes me look white. That's my problem. During the summer, I look way more brown because I not only get tan, but it's too hot to wear makeup. During the winter, I get really gay. So, well, I mean, first of all, you have to talk about New York's frotting season. You have to, <laughs> sorry. Well, speaking of New York and frotting, do you know like Caroline Calloway? Is she paying as well? <laughs> no. Where in the UK would I be from? I would be from, from a more posh community. To be fair, that's kind of like the accent my granddad would have. North London working class you know alfred from the batman lost the way oh i see a pain girl then i pose i, I see a fotty then i then i floor it riz is short for charisma and gyat <laughs> well you'll know it when you see it master wayne master oh wayne God. the ohio gyat <laughs> oh ah, it's even worse because you're actually of caribbean heritage it's, it's not great it's not great we're not looking we're not you know I'm getting canceled. We're already getting canceled. The problem is you always interview white gay people who are so scared of saying I'm something. Sorry. Wrong. I've interviewed like two yeah. white gay people. You interview, well, when you interview white gay people, they're way more scared of saying something wrong. And oh, I'm yeah. like way too uh, white, white straight women are like the easiest target. Oh, just, yeah. Which is like never quite me saying that because like a brown AMAP person saying that about white women is going to like, oh, yeah. I will get hung by the time. Jail, yeah. <laughs> I can hear them right now. Some white woman is going to condescend me for my identity right now. We both started on TikTok around the same time, like mid pandemic, you know, 2020. What meaning do you get out of posting videos online and what do you want to do in future? Like, where do you see this taking you? Man, I just think it's a very fun type of creation that is sort of has this instant gratification that other things don't really have. It combines my love for comedy, for entertainment, for filmmaking, education, communications, all into a little ball that I can kind of deliver to people. It lets me, you know, I can make my background music for videos and I can kind of express many different parts of myself just in one little maybe 10 minute video. That's what's satisfying about it for me. TikTok was a similar way where it was just like, I felt so, it's just so much fun to try to make people laugh, try to entertain people and to try to not get bogged down by some of the hurdles of like TikTok culture and YouTube culture is what I want to do in the future. And what I also want to do in the future is, I don't know, release more stuff, music and more film stuff. And I want people to remember this name. Warren Buff, wait, Warren Buffett. No, Warren Buffett. Buffett. Master Wayne. Master Wayne, have you heard of the Peng yet? That's been emotional labor. Thank you so much. Have you got a question for me, Rose? Any question? Nothing's off the table. What's the origin for your username? I've wondered because I've called you HTML Jones for so long. Is it just like a, a nonsense? It's just like my rap name. It's very like boring in terms of an origin because I was literally just listening to lots of like JPEG Mafia. In the hyper pop scene, it's it's very common to just like attach like a, an internet thing. Yeah, exactly. I can't decide on my on my musician name. It was going to be Rose Cat for a long time. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. I thought so too, but now I've been thinking of like maybe something different. It's better. I think I want my first album to be named. I thought it was going to be Rose Garden, but what if it was Calico Garden? I think that's a cute name. No, that's a very cute name. Like Calico. Anyway, that's good, man. 
<laughs> that's a very lovely end to the interview thank yeah. you for letting me just bombard you with insults yeah. uh, thank you for letting me bombard you in turn with cultural references that make no sense i'm just dumb i'm just stupid is there anything that you, is this like an uplifting european streamer moment you're not dumb man you are just not familiar with some of the cultural references man no it's not stupidity i'm telling you okay the first thing you need to do man just like look in the mirror tell yourself i am enough chat do it is there anything you want to plug sorry no emotional labor emotional labor <laughs>